when we last saw Dr. Two Brains, he had just threatened to destroy the city with a giant goop ray unless he received every morsel of cheese in the city. Now, when you go to pick up the cheese, I need you to scowl more. How's this? Well, not bad. Aga. What? I said thank you. You're welcome. Now get a move on. It's almost time for people to start dropping their cheese off at City Hall. My face hurts. We shouldn't be doing this. Oh, what's the matter? Professor Goody Two-Shoes doesn't want to take people's cheese? No, I don't. Well, too bad, because Dr. Batty Two-Brains does. <laughs> Talking to yourself again, Doc? I can't help it. Ah! Come on, Doc, you can fight it. Hello, word girl. Dr. Boxleitner can't come to the phone right now. Is there something I, Dr. Two-Brains, can do for you? Sure, call off your evil plan. <laughs> Attacking me would be futile. You do know what futile means, don't you? Of course. Futile means useless. You think that my attacks wouldn't work. Correct. For example, I know that your first attack will be... Number 27, monkey sidekick jumping on my back. You see? Futile. Oh, yeah? Well, how about... Number 82, the sumo karate snake fang crane shiatsu cannonball twist kick. Oh, please. Futile. Let me go! <laughs> Two brains are always better than one. We got the cheese, Doc. Will you stop scowling? <laughs> we got the cheese, Doc. Excellent. Hurry back. Got it. Well, word girl, how would you like to help me test my goop ray? You wouldn't. I would, and I will. As soon as I get my cheese, you're going to get a little name change. From word girl to goop girl. <laughs> Is this the end for Word Girl and Captain Huggy Face? Will the evil Dr. Two Brain succeed in turning them into goop? If so, would it be futile for them to still have costumes? Hm. These questions and more might be answered on the next installment of Word Girl! <laughs>